Okay, okay, if you have a flat tire on the rear, or if you have to change uh, cables on the on the rear wheel, uh, always begin with uh, putting the bike in its lowest gear. So you shift back by making shifting strokes. Okay. And you put the front slider in the most uh, rear position. And now I can unhook the, the shock cord and hang it around a bolt over there. And you let the, the foot slider go forward in its most forward position. And you can unroll the cable from the snack now. <coughs> And you uh, open the V brake. You open the quick release. And you drop out the rear wheel. You can put the bike on its dropouts, no problem. And now you have the rear wheel in your hand, and you can uh, you can change your inner tire, or you can uh, put a sticker on it, whatever you want. And it's always practical, again, to uh, pump up the wheel when it's not yet in the bike. Yeah, so once again, open up the valve, put your pump on it, find a piece of hole. This one is already very hard, so no problem. Also, if you have to exchange your propulsion cable, See you did it uh, here, Bartel? Can you? Uh, I think it will, yeah. Uh, so you can uh, pull your propulsion cable out of here, undo the knot or cut it through and put a new cable in, eventually a steel cable or whatever. Uh, well, after you pumped it up, you put it in again. Uh, make sure the quick release is uh, tightened properly. I just lost my uh, shock cord, but that doesn't matter. And close the V brake again. And now you can roll the propulsion cable onto the snack. You hold it with one hand, with the other hand, you turn it around. So and now you have tension between the snack and the foot slider, which is in the most rear position. So nothing can happen now with the propulsion cable. But you have to do this when the bike is standing on its feet and it can't roll forward. You put it against the wall, more or less like this. Okay, well, to put in the return shock cord again, uh, put it in one of the holes of the snack. Take one at the bottom part of the snack. So I take this one to start with. I put the hook in. Okay, so I just put the hook in here. And now I have to wind the shock cord around the foot slider ring. And to do that, it is practical that you put the front wheel between your knees, that the bike cannot roll back and forth. Because now I have to, uh, to get it around the ring, four windings, but on full tension. So I have to. I, uh, I do it like this, and now I'm, I'm pulling maximum, turn it around once, and so now this is once, and again full tension, two times, 
three times, four times. <laughs> I winded it four times around the ring. When you have a 220 millimeter snag, a larger one, then you have to wind it five times around it. After the four windings, you have to go to the front. Yeah, put uh, the bike against your knee, and now you have you put it over the bow pulley, and there's tension on it. There is uh, an important thing here that the the rest of the shock cord doesn't is not in the way of the cable, so it has to stand up. Well, this is a pretty much used uh, bike. It has uh, 4,000 kilometers on it, but uh, that's what the bike is made for, to have a lot of mileage on it without uh, problems. So, uh, but uh, if the nut is over here, then it will have, it will, it might block or push the propulsion cable off the snack. Then you have to wind it up again. So this is a point of attention. Put it uh, like this, and now you need to check after you, uh, because you have just chosen one of the seven or eight holes that are in the snack, and you can uh, adjust the tension on the return cable uh, by choosing another hole for the hook. Now, how do you uh, check the tension? Uh, you do that in the heaviest gear. Uh, so now you, while the, you're not riding the bike, you are putting it in the heaviest gear and then you check the tension. At the same time you can check if it gets all the way to the heaviest gear. If you only did three, uh, three times around the ring then you will not get there in the heaviest gear. Well, I done it well because I am in the heaviest gear now. And in the heaviest gear there should be a lot of tension on the, on the cable. This is just just not enough. I can uh, I can still shorten it a bit. So I will make it. Uh, and when I do this, you can see that there is still some room. So I go back to the lowest gear. And now I'm going to to put the hook in one hole further to get some more tension. And check again if the knot is okay. It's perfectly okay now. Well, so now your bike is ready to ride. So now I, again I go to the heaviest gear to have a look again at the tension. So in the heaviest gear there should be a lot of tension. It should be almost impossible to get it to have to, to have some room here. It should be really, really very tight.